being on a farm is a lot like being in the uh, legislature. Sometimes it's uh, you have to herd the herd everybody, and then there's you have to deal with a lot of you know. <laughs> when I took office, 20. 11, when I was first sworn in, there was this magazine and they rank the states best to worst. Ohio was 43rd in the nation at the time in terms of places that CEOs would say they would want to go and, and locate their business. This is a huge problem. Ohio's business and regulatory state has been stagnant for a while. Red tape has a very real tangible impact on Ohio's economic competitiveness. Looking at where we rank compared to other states, New York, Illinois, California, Ohio as the worst states with red tape. Mercatus Center did a, a study which showed that Ohio had 246,000 regulations in our administrative code. How did we get here? Legislators will introduce a bill, will pass a law, it's always with the best of intentions. But then from there, rules and regulations promulgate and they build up and it's like sludge in our economic engine. The size of the regulatory state is inhibiting entrepreneurship, inhibiting innovation, inhibiting the growth and economic opportunity here in the state of Ohio. This is something we can tackle. My name is uh, Brad Gibson, uh, Gibson Electrical LLC. We have 40 employees and $6 million worth of revenue. The industry has definitely changed. There's no consistency in regulation. The 240-some thousand regulations in the state of Ohio, it seems ridiculous and it's gotten out of hand. It's definitely not helping the growth of business. It's definitely stifling it. The Senate will come to order. Right at the beginning of this last General Assembly, I introduced Senate Bill 9, the Red Tape Reduction Act. The purpose of it was to cut basically 30% of the rules and regulations in the state of Ohio over a period of three years, so 10% a year. So Americans for Prosperity engaged through uh, Under the Dome advocacy, activists coming to the state house, sitting down with their state senators, sitting down with their state representatives, having those conversations about what the regulatory burden is doing in their communities. We are a 24-7, 365 operation, knocking doors, having conversations, connecting everyday voters and constituents to public policy reform. AFP provided proponent testimony in both the House and the Senate. They stand for everything that's right about getting the economy going. So after all this hard work, Mercatus' research, our work advocating under the dome, State Senator Christina Rogner's advocacy and sponsorship around this legislation, we were really excited to see Senate Bill 9 get signed into law by Governor Mike DeWine in the spring of 2022. We have a good regulatory environment, made better recently by the enactment by you of Senate Bill 9, sponsored by Senators Rogner and McCauley. It is a game changer for businesses. It'll be a game changer for our economy. This will allow businesses to focus on what they do best, their business. One of the elements of it is creating a website called cutredtape.ohio.gov. It's a very simple tool that will allow any Ohioan to point out the sections of code that are inhibiting their ability to be innovative or entrepreneurial here in our state. We're bringing those bottom-up solutions on regulatory reform to the people. That felt nice. I really appreciate the platform of Cut Red Tape, being able to have my voice directly heard, because that's a big deal, right? That's, that affects everybody in the state of Ohio. These regulations being removed, I mean, Ohio becomes the model of what the, the rest of the United States should follow. Senate Bill 9 will be an example for other states to say, you can take bold change. You know, reach for the stars, go 30%. I mean, that's, that's what we did. They want to go higher than that, that's awesome. It's gonna take bold reform. It's gonna take leaders in every state and leaders in our nation too, to get this done. This is the greatest country on earth and it is worth fighting for, not only for our kids, our grandkids and future generations to come.